We're here at the beautiful Colo River. I've just been camping all up and down the New South Wales coast for the last uh, week or two. Camping is just such an incredible way for people, especially people who live in cities, to get outside, get back to nature, let their bodies calm down, disconnect from technology. And we've been noticing a real increase in the number of severe weather events that we believe are climate change driven. The powerful wall of water at the Buchan campground flipped cars and smashed caravans, leaving behind a devastating mess. When camping turns to chaos, a three-ton caravan swept away and jammed against a tree. Car after car thrown and smashed like toys by this once-in-a-lifetime flash flood. And what's scary is a lot of these floods are happening um, faster and just more dramatically than, you know, even people who've lived here for, you know, 50 years have seen in their entire, in their entire lifetime. Both on Christmas and then on New Year's Eve, there were massive flash floods um, across New South Wales. There were campers in multiple situations who had to be evacuated. SES did an incredible job. Within an hour, 80 calls for help to the SES campers at Riverwood Downs in Barrington Tops stood no chance. We have just been absolutely smashed. Bruised, battered and sent packing. We are going home. There was a really intense flash flood on the Oxley River and some of the campers have asked the question since, you know, there's actually real-time gauges in that river and you know, there was an opportunity to send out an alert um, much earlier. So the flash flood happened around 4 or 5 a.m. on New Year's Day morning. Um, campers had gone to bed at midnight. The river was calm, knee height or, or less. Uh, within just a few hours, it had risen eight meters. And um, there were real-time gauges in the river. That data was a lot online, streaming to the website in real time, but it didn't get to the campers. It didn't get to the host in time. They actually got the alert about 11 hours after they'd been evacuated. There were flooding that might occur. Um, and so the question was, how can we just respond faster and adapt to the fact that the climate is also moving faster now? There's a lot of flash flooding, um, you know, creeks and catchments rising really quickly. Overnight, we've uh, undertaken at least another 10 swift water rescues. We've had to evacuate people from campgrounds. Better warning systems could really, you know, of course be great for people who are local and live in the area. But again, outdoor recreation is such a big part of the economy. Um, here in especially New South Wales and, and Australia broadly and so creating a safe environment for it is really important. One of the big ones uh, we're excited about is hopefully partnering more closely with SES on some of the basic trainings like if it's flooded forget it. Um, we actually had a situation where campers um, who were safe and had evacuated out of their campsite decided to go back to their vehicles and get some things out and that created a really scary situation um, that did lead to SES needing to rescue them in a boat and so we're hoping to find ways to, you know, better elevate and amplify the great messages that are already out there around safety in these situations.